Hi, my name is Peter. I'm an industrial engineer. My job is to make sure that workstations are safe and efficient so that I can optimize my industrial processes. I just received an email from my manager. There is a change in the design of one of our products and I need to make sure that the assembly is still feasible. My manager wants an assessment of the new product's assembly for today. Let me see the modification of the product. Ok, so this is a gearbox and only one part has been modified. From what I can see, the warm gear, which is this part here, is now longer. I need to check the station where the warm gear is assembled. From the email, I know it's on station 3. Ok, here is the warm gear assembly operation. From what I can see, I need to validate two things. First, that the warm gear can be assembled. Then, that the worker will be able to get it from this bin. To do that, I launch ergonomic workplace design application. I can go to the operation where the warm gear is assembled. Ok, let's validate that the worker can still assemble the new warm gear. I'll create a worker task under the warm gear operation. This panel is used to indicate to the software what is the action performed by the worker. In this case, it is to assemble the warm gear with the right hand. And I can click on create. Did you feel the power of that click? With this one click, two insanely innovative technologies are working together. First, the smart posturing engine is automatically posturing a mannequin in 3D. Then the ergo for all technology is analyzing the potential risk for the worker. And guess what? It is done for four mannequins of different sizes that are representative of the population. Let me just stop here for a second. This was unthinkable before. Being able to see the posture of the worker in 3D in few seconds before the line is even modified give me so much information. With this, I can visualize the worker posture in 3D to understand the potential risk before they occur. For this task, every posture are marked as green. This means that there is a low risk of injury for the worker. Let's now check the task of getting the warm gear from the bin. I create a new worker task before the first one. I indicate the worker task in the panel and launch a posture calculation. Oh oh, this task is problematic. The posture are marked with an undefined risk. This is indicated by this black icon. This means that the application couldn't find a posture to accomplish the task. This makes sense here, the warm gear is longer now, so the worker cannot reach the part without colliding with the flow rack. The good news is that I detected this problem before the pollution started. Having this kind of problem can cause quality issue and worker injuries, and I really don't want that to happen. Now I need to find a solution for this. But thanks to the power of 3D, I should be able to quickly iterate and find a solution. I made a new design of the storage layout. Now the warm gear is stored horizontally, not vertically. I can just replace the previous storage version with this one and check if the worker can reach for the warm gear. I just need to edit the worker task. Ok, so it is better now. Some percentile can reach for the warm gear, however it's pretty far. I need to find where it should be located so that the worker can reach for it. I'd move it closer to the worker and relaunch the calculation. Ah, now we're talking. Those are nice postures. I'll present that to my manager and our flow rack supplier to understand what can be done to modify the flow rack. Fortunately, all this process was fast. Thanks to ergonomic workplace design, I've been able to quickly identify a risk with the product design modification. I've come with a solution to my manager and we will be able to save a lot of money thanks to that. Mm -hmm.